Hi, we're here in Glasgow for ESHG 2015, and we're going to talk to Bianca about her poster on Superscript 4, a reverse transcript days out of Thermo Fisher Scientific. Hi, Bianca. I was looking at your poster, and I was really excited about the uh, new Superscript 4, a reverse transcript days. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Superscript 4 is our newest reverse transcript taste that we, we launched, and Vitrogen's newest reverse transcript taste. Um, it is much more sensitive than Superscript 3, um, and in, in a variety of applications. But because it is more sensitive it is, um, and more robust, it can do a lot more things that Superscript 3 can't. For example, um, it works well in a variety of RT inhibitors. So now customers can do reverse transcriptase samples um, with samples containing ethanol, sample prep inhibitors such as salt, um, and also um, samples containing uh, drugs, for example, hematin, and um, just a variety of inhibitors. Um, oh, and one, one inhibitor that um, is commonly found in sample prep is trizol and Superscript 4 can work in the presence of trizol. Oh, great. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the workflows that come along with this? So Superscript 4 not only does it work better than Superscript 3 in all the traditional workflows, but because it's more robust and it can work in a variety of inhibitors, um, we found that Superscript 4 is sensitive enough to detect RNA in samples where RNA hasn't been purified from their source. So in my poster, as um, you can see, um, Superscript 4 can detect um, RNA in straight, um, in straight tissue culture cells, such as 293 cells, HeLa cells, and Jerkat cells. And this is where, these are samples where we just lyse the cells and we put the, lys um, the lysate directly in the RT reaction and we can get um, RNA detection. So there's no, there was no RNA purification in these samples. Great, thank you so much. I look forward to looking at your poster in greater detail.